Thank you very much to the organizer of this interesting section. It's the occasion for me to promote the next IBOGP meeting in Lecce, the International Work Group that we organized in Lecce in June uh, 19. It's the first time in Italy. And uh, I send in this uh, seminar that we speak also about charcoals. And uh, I want to remember that in the same year, we have the next uh, international anthropological meeting uh, in Liverpool, organized by our colleague uh, Elenia Sufi. So the next year is the archaeobotanical year. Okay. <laughs> um, my presentation regards in particular uh, um, the archaeobotanical analysis uh, in Sicily. Uh, it's a good... Uh, uh, there are good suggestions by the Daniel presentation about the, the need to focus on a geographical area to have uh, a, a long delay perspective in our analysis and probably is uh, also useful to uh, integrate different data. If we can speak about revolution changes, we need to make this type of uh, approaches. The focus of my uh, presentation regards Sicily, is one of the most important areas connected to the Islamic invasion, Islamic world uh, in the Mediterranean. And uh, uh, so we try to organize our database in relation to other archaeobotanical database, in relation to other archaeological and archaeological data that regard this region. This is the typical archaeological framework uh, regarding the western part of Sicily. <coughs> Our uh, um, contribution is uh, integrated in uh, uh, one uh, uh, RC grant uh, directed by Martin Carver. The, the grant is named Sicily in Transition, and uh, this is uh, the typical diachronical perspective in the study of a region, and we have a, uh, the integration of different type of data. For the archaeological data, we are focusing on the western part of Sicily, um, in particular the area of Palermo, Mazzara del Vallo, del Vallo. and uh, here you can see the different uh, uh, network from the 10th to the 12th century, uh, in relation to the, in particular, to Maghreb and Africa. This is the first uh, preliminary data on uh, archaeological analysis. Uh, we are focusing on the Mazzara del Vallo because it's the most directly connected to the Maghreb. So we have the possibility to, uh, to see the, uh, the contact with the African continent. The first archaeological uh, data of uh, Mazzara del Vallo show differences between the Islamic uh, and the Arab period and the normal period, in particular we can see the use uh, of uh, sheep goat uh, uh, remains uh, and uh, a strong uh, taboo related to the pig in the norma in the uh, Arab period that we don't find in the Norman period. The same differences we can see in the width of the ships, for example, changes in the dimension, the weight of the ship's goats, uh, this is a change uh, very important because uh, it's connected to the, um, a strong uh, uh, intervention in the reproductive uh, system of animals. In general, these uh, uh, are the same problem for the plants, but it's uh, so difficult to find this type of traces. Uh, now we speak about uh, the archaeobotanical database for Sicily. This is our general uh, framework for the archaeobotanical analysis. Uh, and my presentation regards the Mazzara del Vallo analysis because we have a long durée occupation and we have traces uh, of the uh, 10 just to the 12th century. Uh, century. There are preliminary analyses, but for us they are very important to 
conceptualize uh, the problematic on the Islamic present in Sicily. Everyone uh, use Watson, <laughs> and I use Watson. These are uh, the least. This is the least of the Watson species we know very well. Um, but uh, I want to uh, uh, emphasize also the, the word of Watson, Watson uh, connected to the seasonal changes in agricultural system. This is uh, really difficult to find in archaeobotanical materia because uh, it isn't a problem of species. It's a problem of cultivar or ecotype. And uh, our morphological instruments are really poor to identify this type of differences. The, the importance is to find a good archaeological sites where we have uh, good material with morphological uh, uh, characteristics well preserved it, because our aim is to arrive to vari varietal differences if you want to study this revolution. Okay? Uh, from Mazzara del Vallo, we have uh, two types uh, of archaeobotanical material with uh, two different, different taphonomical characteristics, mineralized and charred. So we have the possibility to find uh, uh, plant material used in uh, cooking process, charred material, but also uh, material connected to day life, uh, and so the mineralization is a good process uh, to preserve uh, material with good characteristics and rare in archaeobotanical assemblage. We start from the cereals. We have the list of uh, uh, cereals found in the, in, uh, found in the Mazzara del Vallo pits. And uh, for example, regarding the triticum, the wheat, uh, we have the problem to identify durum wheat from other weight. For, mm, for this type uh, of uh, mm, differences, uh, the literature uh, uh, speak about uh, the characteristics of rachis fragments. And when we found rachis fragments, we arrived to identify Durum from Stephen. But the problem is uh, seasonality. The problem is not to identify Durum or Stephen. We find this type of remains from the Neolithic in Mediterranean area. The problem is uh, to check if we find other type of a characteristic, morphological characteristic, to arrive to identify variety, ecotype, cultivars. This is the real revolution for archaeobotanical analysis, I think. Our instruments uh, are uh, to the beginning. But, uh, for example, this type of uh, rachis segments show trichomons uh, elements, show uh, the markings, longitudinal markings, that this characteristic, to, uh, we can use this characteristic to arrive to varietal identification. I want to remember that uh, in Oasis, uh, in uh, Sahara Desert, now we have the selection of variety, the, of weight, club weight, particular, with the typical of desert area because they have a good tolerance to the dryness. But our problem is to arrive to identify this material in archaeobotanical assemblages. Now we, we go to the tree fruits, mm, is another important uh, type of plant for the, connected to the Islamic words. Here you can see, I show you citrus fruit, marked by Watson, and uh, peach, from Persica. Also in this case, uh, for example, in Mazara, we find uh, uh, other tree fruits, pomegranate seeds. Also, pomegranate is connected to the Mediterranean world, but uh, it's important to find uh, the mm, a database, a complex database, the, um, all the tree fruits uh, all together because it is a signal of fruit culture, not the single tree fruit. This, I think, is important to, to work with absence and presence and uh, um, 
the big database. We find also pitch and, uh, for example, situs. Also for situs, uh, uh, the problem is not the first presence of situs. We find, this is the, um, a book connected to the uh, one project uh, on the citrus fruits in the Mediterranean area. It's a, a big road project with some colleagues from French. But we find citrus fruit from the Roman period and from the pre-Roman period in the Mediterranean area. So the problem is not the presence of citrus, but the use of citrus and the strategy for the cultivation of different species of citrus. And for this, it's really difficult. All the colleagues that work on uh, citrus fruits, citrus seeds, know very well uh, uh, what is difficult to distinguish the different species. It's not easy. Also, to arrive to the citrus uh, definition is uh, difficult. And uh, another important group of plants are the vegetables because uh, one important, in the Mediterranean area, one important uh, revolution is uh, horticulture, is the cultivation inside gardens. So this is connected also to irrigation, to the use of water in uh, particular manners. In the Manzara del Ballo, we, we find uh, watermelon, Colicinthus watermelon, different type of cucumber melon, and other uh, uh, species that we can see now. In particular, for uh, cucumis, we have different uh, uh, seeds of cucurbitace. The richness of the variability is important because it's uh, the signal of a control of a horticultural agriculture. And this, uh, this is also a seasonal signal. We find also spinach is uh, probably is uh, the second uh, attestation spinach that we find. It's difficult to find because there are seeds that we can find also in mineralized status. We found also probably um, Solanum melangena. Mm, also in this case, it's difficult to arrive to the determination of species. We arrive to the genus. But uh, it's really difficult uh, when we uh, work with uh, mineralized seeds to arrive to the species definition. Also in this case, we, uh, with air today, we have different attestation of aubergine. But uh, another important attestation in Mazzara del Vallo is the cotton plant. The presence of cotton plant uh, is connected to the use of this plant not only from uh, use of oil, but in particular for the fiber use. We have uh, uh, probably one of the most ancient attestation of cotton in Italy and the Mediterranean area. We have other evidence in literature, but the importance is uh, the citation of the cotton in the writing uh, sources. They speak of uh, uh, cotton manufacturing, uh, in 13th century Sicily, in the, the area of Mazzara del Vallo. For us, is a good connection between uh, sources and archaeobotanical material. So, in relation to the Watson list, we have flag on the different species, but uh, I think it's important to analyze this flag and to arrive to the variety, cultivar, and ecotype to uh, decodify this type of data. Thanks.